Hello and welcome back to Biweekly Building. And as you can see, we're not in Minecraft. Um, yeah, we're in we're in Photoshop because I sort of I wanted to do something different for this episode. I wanted to go through more of my process when I'm building, and that's sort of I mean it starts with creating an idea, right? So to sort of illustrate that, I guess I sort of really I needed something to uh, to illustrate me coming up with an idea. So I had this idea on this sort of ridge line here of three ruined towers at different points along the ridge and to sort of I guess illustrate you know what on earth is going on my my brain I am um, yeah just hopped into Photoshop and here we are just drawing some uh, some towers things like that a few buildings I end up changing up the design things like that so I got into the world and discovered that one of the buildings, uh, well, specifically the building under the middle tower there, uh, would be falling off a cliff. So that one didn't get built because, uh, yeah, not building off a cliff. But uh, also this tree up here at the front wasn't quite built the same way. Uh, this one's pretty big, as you can see. So I, uh, I made it a bit smaller because it sort of covers up the tower and, uh, and definitely covers up that building. So, uh, yeah. And we also have some new editing. Um, yeah, I now have title cards for different uh, sections of the video. So uh, as it said, we're going to be doing some some shaping now. So we're going to go in with wool and shape the build and really sort of come in and make some sort of cylinders and chop bits away, things like that, and really define in the sort of 3D space where things are going to go and what they're sort of going to look like. Um, but yes, if you like the sort of new sort of editing stuff that I've got going on, please let me know um, because I I won't know if you like it if you don't say anything. And if it doesn't work and you don't say anything, <laughs> I'll continue doing it. So yeah, um, but I, I I hope they uh, I hope they sort of I hope you like them basically. Um, I, I spent a bit of time on them. I, I definitely think they could be improved. I think they're a bit static at the moment. Maybe some movement might be uh, might be necessary, but sort of I'm gonna need to figure that out. But uh, well, what are we really doing? I mean, we're still doing the shaping, and it's three towers. It's not really interesting but I, I do use different walls uh, to sort of signify different areas of the towers different pieces different sections and also the different towers as well and it sort of it helps visualize uh, really where there might be any issues in the shaping uh, because if you especially if you look at it that builds really 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 far away the only real thing you're going to notice is the color, the overall color, and the shape of the build. Uh, you won't really notice the texturing, especially if you've gone with like a noise pattern, you know, like stone, cobblestone, andesite, gravel, things like that. They're all sort of roughly the same shade of gray. So at a distance, it sort of just blends into one. So it really matters the color and the shape. So that's how you can... Uh, you can make sure that your shape is good by just basically making it out of, well, wool. Um, and right now, uh, as obviously the tile card will have told you, uh, we're doing color. So we're going to make the shape into sort of the first stage of it. So uh, the tower is going to be stone, so they're just gonna be gray, things like that, adding some more details, making making it a bit more ruined, stairs, slabs, etc. around the windows, around the sort of tops where things have been broken off and things like that. Um, yeah, you might also notice got some new mods and no shaders for this video. Uh, so yeah, I've got this simple fog mod, which makes the fog nicer. Uh, I've got better, better clouds, which makes the clouds nicer, as you might be able to see. And also uh, Bobby, which means that I can set the render distance to basically whatever I want. 
And that's lovely with the simple fog mod because it means that the fog ends chunks and chunks away and all of it is handled beautifully by the fog and it makes everything just, oh, it's beautiful. There's so much depth and things like that that is gained. But uh, I think it also works on servers, but don't take my word for it. And it also, it might kill your server if uh, it's not powerful enough to handle, you know, like a 30 chunk render distance or something. You also do need a decently powerful computer to, you know, render 32 chunks, uh, especially if you're going to use it with shaders, because my word, um, that's 32 chunks that you're going to be rendering in a radius around you with shaders. That's a lot of things to render. But uh, yeah, we're almost done with the uh, with the build and most of it, most of this color is not too sort of technical, I suppose. Uh, the only real sort of, I guess, maybe even slightly difficult coloring is on the second tower I used mushroom blocks and it's the texture that you get if you attach another mushroom block to the side of an already existing mushroom block and you get rid of it. You get the lovely in, in sort of inside of the mushroom texture. It's a really, really nice texture. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get, obviously, but it is quite a nice texture. So, uh, yeah. And that roof as well. Uh, it won't be staying. Uh, I wasn't happy with it. I just sort of threw it together. It eh, didn't really work for me, so I, was just, I just got rid of it. Um, but yes, it's sort of texturing. I've been rambling. Uh, we're doing texturing now. So, as you can see, I've laid out the blocks that I want to use. I applied a sort of generic noise pattern to it because I wanted to add some grime, some sort of ruining aspect to it. And I then added stone bricks uh, in sort of brick shapes, I guess. And I added some darker spots with tough and such. Some stain, I guess. I, weathering marks, basically. Some jungle planks, mud, granite, things like that. Some moss, beautiful moss. Gotta have moss and then bushes. Bushes, if you want to make anything look ruined, just add bushes. Um, break it basically, like chop a bit off, texture it, and then add some bushes, and it will look ruined immediately. It might not look perfect, but it will definitely look ruined. So uh, it, it definitely works. They got rid of the flowers because uh, bone meal creates too many flowers, but. Yeah, as you can see here, first block call is to get rid of the roof because I didn't like it. So I, I copied a roof from, I think, the wall from episode three. And that worked wonders. It's a bit bigger, actually, than this tower, but it did allow me to get some depth in the top. So it's all worked out, really. In the end... Um, yeah, and there we are. Uh, it looks so much, so much nicer. Uh, I, I reckon I could probably do a nicer roof, but eh. oh well. Uh, I'm not really here to do the roof fancy. I'm here to make it look ruined. So yeah, I added some fences, some other wooden bits as well. Yeah, wooden support things, and did some of the same texturing to it, uh, takes it to the roof with, uh, I, I think I even got some mud in there and just, yeah, some wooden planks with the, the mushroom blocks makes it look darker and yeah, just went through with the same sort of texturing techniques for the rest of this build so, to be honest this build was it was quite repetitive um, there was I think the most interesting bit was probably this middle tower, uh, given it had a roof and things like that. So it's probably the most interesting bit. 
but uh, I, I I had a lot of fun building this. Um, I do think it's maybe not a build that would be a focal point of a world. It would be sort of it'd be on this ridge line in the distance, and you'd have like a village um, in the plains below it because there's not really much going on, you know. Um, and it's very sort of similar, but it adds a sort of lived in aspect to the world. I think ruins, if you want to add a more lived in, if you want to make things feel lived in, obviously motion is brilliant for that, adding motion, things that move, uh, or at least momentum to a build, you know, so uh, a train, for example, if you have a train, obviously you can't necessarily make it move without mods. So adding some smoke coming out of the uh, the chimney of the train and then having that come and go back down the, the length of the train uh, is going to make it look like there's momentum in the train. It's going to make it feel more lived in and adding ruins in the distance and sort of dotted around the world can, uh, can really aid a feeling of this world has been lived in for a long time and there is a history here and it's maybe slightly been forgotten so uh yeah sort of inspired by lord of the rings i guess but anyway i have rambled through the beginning of the trees uh so yes these trees are sort of semi-inspired by uh b-dubs in his most is it his most recent hermitcraft video i think so not cut no maybe it was the one before that i don't know i can't remember but he built a tree um, and he said he wanted to make it more sort of realistic and focus on how trees actually grow. So I, inspired by that, I hopped into a creative world, played around and said, like, okay, I, I think I understand how this works. And came in here, had a few images of an alder and an oak up. So just finished the alder there and they usually go straight up with some branches coming off at sort of 90 degree angles and then oaks uh from what i've seen they have a really thick base trunk and then big branches coming off from that and one specifically that i saw had the thick trunk and then two branches big big thick branches uh almost extensions of the trunk coming off in two completely opposite directions and i love that but um i wasn't quite able to capture that uh, in in minecraft it sort of ended up looking a bit more like a mushroom which is not ideal because it's a tree and not a mushroom but oh well uh i think they look all right um uh so yeah you know oh well but uh, i i think the one thing that i wish i did uh differently is made more variations while I was going through making the cinematics for this, I did notice like, okay, yeah, there's definitely, uh, you can definitely tell like there's only two trees that I've made. So uh, maybe something to note for the future, make a couple more trees, but they, they do take quite a while. They are quite big, but um, that is it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the editing. Uh, please give us some feedback and I will see you in two weeks.